Elon has always been at the forefront of space exploration, constantly pushing the boundaries of what humanity can achieve. From his groundbreaking work with SpaceX to his ambitious plans for Mars colonization, Elon has made it clear that space is the final frontier. But now, there's an incredible new discovery that has Elon even more excited than usual. The James Webb Space Telescope has detected something massive heading straight for Neptune, and the implications could change everything we know about the outer reaches of our solar system. Elon has already hinted that this event could unlock new doors for space exploration. What exactly did the James Webb Telescope discover? And how does this collision with Neptune tie into Elon's grand vision for the future of space? Part 1. Elon Musk's Fascination with Space and Technological Advancements When we talk about Elon Musk, it's hard not to get pulled into the bigger picture of his vision. Whether it's about sending humans to Mars, revolutionizing transportation on Earth, or digging deep into the mysteries of space. Elon Musk is one of those figures who is always at the forefront of pushing humanity toward its next big leap. The man seems to have a fascination with the cosmos that goes beyond the ordinary. From his early days, he's been obsessed with what's out there beyond our planet, and the more he learns, the more he wants to explore. That's why, when news broke about the James Webb Space Telescope detecting something massive colliding with Neptune, it wasn't just another space event. It was something that probably got Musk more excited than anyone else on the planet. I mean, let's be real here. Elon Musk has always had his eyes set on space. His early dreams of making humanity a multi-planetary species are no secret. For years, we've heard him talk about his plans to colonize Mars, set up bases on the moon, and even venture deeper into the outer regions of the solar system. It's not just about Mars for him anymore. He's looking at the entire cosmos as one big playground waiting to be explored. And for someone like Musk, who has already made such massive strides with SpaceX and other projects, the James Webb Space Telescope's JWST. Discovery of a massive object colliding with Neptune must have felt like another sign that space is ready for further exploration. Elon Musk's involvement with the James Webb Space Telescope isn't something that happened by chance. It's well known that he's been following the progress of the telescope for years. The JWST is the most powerful space telescope ever built, designed to give us a deeper look into the universe than we've ever had before. It can capture things that were invisible to previous telescopes, and Musk, with his endless drive to push technology, has often pointed out how important JWST is for humanity's understanding of the cosmos. You see, Musk doesn't just see space as a place to send rockets or build colonies. For him, space is the next step in human evolution. He believes that by understanding what's out there, we can better secure the future of humanity. Now, Neptune might not be the first planet people think of when they imagine space exploration. After all, Mars and the Moon get most of the attention, right? But Musk has always had a broader vision. He's not just interested in the planets closest to us. He's fascinated by the gas giants like Neptune. These outer planets hold some of the greatest mysteries in our solar system, and Musk has always been one to embrace the unknown. He's talked about sending missions beyond Mars, and Neptune is one of those targets that could hold significant potential for scientific discovery. So when the James Webb Space Telescope detected something massive on a collision course with Neptune, you can imagine how Musk's brain probably went into overdrive. The collision itself is fascinating, even for those of us who aren't space experts. The James Webb Space Telescope picked up signs of a large object hurtling towards Neptune, something that could be a rogue planet, an enormous asteroid, or even a massive comet. Whatever it is, this is a once-in-a-lifetime event. To detect something on such a grand scale is exactly the kind of breakthrough that gets Musk excited. He's always said that there's so much more to learn from these kinds of cosmic phenomena, and Neptune, being a gas giant, is a perfect candidate for deeper study. We know so little about the atmospheres of planets like Neptune, and an impact like this could reveal more about how these planets function, their atmosphere's composition, and maybe even give clues about the formation of our own solar system. For Musk, it's not just about witnessing the collision. He's thinking ahead, as always. What does this mean for future space missions? Could SpaceX, with its advanced technology and rockets, be the first to send probes or satellites to study Neptune up close after the collision? That's the kind of challenge that excites Musk and it fits right in with his broader goal of pushing humanity beyond its current limits. While most people might look at the collision and think, wow, that's cool, Musk sees an opportunity, an opportunity to study Neptune's atmosphere, its rings, its moons, particularly Triton, which has always been a bit of a mystery, and how all of this can inform future space exploration. But it's not just science for science's sake with Musk. He's always got his eye on the practical applications of what he learns from space. Take Mars, for example. 
His dream of colonizing the Red Planet isn't just a fun project. It's about ensuring the survival of humanity. He believes that by establishing colonies on Mars, we can create a backup plan for Earth. So when something like this happens around Neptune, Musk isn't just watching it out of curiosity. He's thinking about how we can use this knowledge to make humanity stronger, smarter, and more resilient. And that's what makes him different from other visionaries. This massive collision with Neptune isn't just a scientific event. It's a potential game changer for our understanding of the solar system. Neptune, like the other outer planets, is largely unexplored. We've sent a few probes in its direction, but nothing on the scale that Musk envisions. For him, Neptune could be the next frontier, and this collision might be the spark that ignites a whole new wave of exploration. If we learn more about what caused the collision, what effects it has on Neptune's atmosphere, or how it affects the planet's rings and moons, that could open the door to entirely new missions, not just from NASA, but from private companies like SpaceX. Speaking of SpaceX, Musk's company has always been at the forefront of pushing space travel to new heights. With every new mission, Musk has shown that he's not content to just repeat what's been done before. He wants to innovate, to push boundaries, and to make space more accessible to humanity. So it wouldn't be surprising if, after this discovery, Musk starts talking about missions to Neptune. Maybe not right away, but this is the kind of event that could spur long-term plans to explore the outer solar system more deeply. After all, if there's one thing Musk is good at, it's turning science fiction into reality. What's interesting is how Musk tends to amplify these scientific discoveries through his social media channels. I'm sure many of us have seen his tweets or posts where he casually dip, discusses space discoveries, often getting the public excited about what's out there. When the news of the Neptune collision broke, it was only a matter of time before Musk weighed in. And when he does, you can bet that the conversation isn't just going to be about what the James Webb Space Telescope found, it's going to be about what's next. Musk has a way of taking these scientific discoveries and turning them into public events, rallying interest, excitement, and even investment into further exploration. You can imagine the ripple effect that this Neptune discovery has caused in the space community. Scientists, researchers, and space enthusiasts are all talking about it, speculating about what this collision could mean, but Musk is likely looking at it from a different perspective. He's not just thinking about the immediate scientific implications, He's thinking about the long-term potential. How can this discovery help humanity? What can we learn from it that will push us closer to becoming a multi-planetary species? These are the kinds of questions Musk asks, and it's what makes him such a compelling figure in the world of space exploration. At the end of the day, Musk's vision for space goes far beyond just sending rockets into the sky. He wants to build a future where humanity can thrive beyond Earth, where we can explore the outer reaches of our solar system and maybe even beyond. And events like this massive collision with Neptune only fuel that vision. Musk doesn't see space as something distant or unattainable. He sees it as the next logical step for humanity. And with every new discovery, like the one made by the James Webb Space Telescope, he's reminded that there's so much more out there waiting to be explored. So when Elon Musk talks about the James Webb Space Telescope detecting something massive colliding with Neptune, it's not just about the science, it's about the future. It's about what's possible, what's next, and how we, as a species, can take these discoveries and turn them into stepping stones towards something greater. That's why Musk is so invested in these kinds of events. They're not just cool space facts. They're the building blocks of the future he's been dreaming of for decades. Part 2. The James Webb Space Telescope's Breakthrough Discovery So by now, it's clear that Elon Musk's fascination with space runs deep. He's got his eyes not just on Mars, but the whole solar system and beyond. But what's really sparked excitement recently is this massive discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope, something huge colliding with Neptune. It's one of those rare cosmic events that immediately grabs attention. And of course, Musk wasted no time getting involved in the discussion, hyping up the potential significance of this finding. But let's get into what was actually detected and why it's such a big deal. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has been hailed as the most advanced space observatory ever created. It's been designed to look deeper into the universe than anything we've ever built. Its primary mission? To explore the origins of the universe, peer into distant galaxies, and study planets that orbit other stars. But along the way, it's also become our best tool for observing events happening within our own solar system, like this one involving Neptune. What the JWST detected was a massive object, larger than anything we've seen around Neptune in a long time, hurtling through space and on a collision course with the planet, now, when we talk about something colliding with Neptune, we're not talking about a tiny rock or fragment. 
This is a massive object, possibly a rogue planet or an enormous asteroid, although there's some speculation it could even be a massive comet. It's still a bit of a mystery exactly what the object is, but that's what makes it so exciting. Musk has already hinted at how important this discovery could be, calling it a wake-up call for space exploration, and how little we know about the outer solar system. The JWST's ability to detect this object at such a great distance and with such precision is a testament to how far we've come in space technology. It's fascinating to think that this same telescope was built to study stars billions of light years away, but here it is helping us understand events happening right in our own cosmic backyard. That's one of the things Musk loves about the JWST. It's versatile and packed with cutting-edge technology. It can capture things previous telescopes, like Hubble, simply couldn't. For Musk, it's the perfect example of how humanity is getting closer to truly understanding the cosmos. And every discovery like this one pushes us further down that path. Now, back to the object itself. This isn't the first time we've observed something hitting a planet, but it's definitely rare, especially when we're talking about an outer planet like Neptune. Neptune is one of the least explored planets in our solar system. It's a gas giant, way out in the cold reaches of space, and it doesn't get as much attention as Mars, Jupiter, or Saturn. But that's exactly why this collision is so intriguing. For Musk, this could be the event that opens the door to future missions to Neptune, missions that could tell us more about the planet and its many mysteries. The big question everyone's asking is, what will happen when this object collides with Neptune? Since Neptune is a gas giant, the surface isn't solid like Earth or Mars. Instead, it's made up of layers of gases, mainly hydrogen, helium, and methane. When something collides with a gas giant, the results can be very different compared to what we'd expect from a collision with a rocky planet. For instance, when comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 hit Jupiter back in 1994, it created massive scars in the planet's atmosphere, which were visible for months. It also gave scientists valuable insights into Jupiter's atmosphere and how gas giants react to impacts. Something similar could happen with Neptune. Elon Musk, always thinking a few steps ahead, has already speculated about what we might learn from this collision. He's mentioned that Neptune's atmosphere is still a bit of a mystery to us. We know it has incredibly strong winds, faster than anything seen on Earth, and massive storms that could engulf our planet whole. What we don't fully understand is how these storms form or how Neptune's atmosphere reacts to outside objects. Musk believes that by studying the aftermath of this collision, we could unlock some of these secrets. And knowing Musk, he's probably already thinking about how SpaceX could play a role in getting a closer look. Speaking of SpaceX, this is where things get really interesting. Musk has always been about taking big risks and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. With this Neptune collision, we could be looking at an opportunity for SpaceX to make history again. Think about it. If we learn more about Neptune from this collision, the next logical step could be sending a probe or even a satellite to study the planet up close. Musk has mentioned in the past that he sees potential in exploring the outer planets, not just for science, but for future exploration and even resources. Neptune, with its unique composition, could hold answers to questions we haven't even thought of yet. The sheer scale of this collision could also impact Neptune's moons, particularly Triton, which is one of the most intriguing moons in the solar system. Triton is unique because it's one of the only moons that orbits in the opposite direction of its planet's rotation, a sign that it was likely captured by Neptune's gravity rather than forming alongside the planet. Triton also has geysers that shoot nitrogen gas into space, which suggests it could have a subsurface ocean. If the collision with Neptune is big enough, it might cause ripples that reach Triton, giving us even more to study. Musk has said before that moons like Triton could hold valuable scientific clues, especially when it comes to understanding the possibility of life in extreme environments. And now, with this collision, we might get the chance to see how these moons react to such a massive event. Of course, not everyone is as optimistic as Musk. Some scientists are more cautious, saying that while the collision is exciting, it might not yield as much information as we hope. After all, Neptune is incredibly far away. And even with the JWST, we can only observe so much from this distance. But Musk, always the visionary, sees things differently. He believes that even if we can't learn everything right away, this event will inspire future missions and discoveries. He's always been about playing the long game, and for him, this could be the spark that leads to more investment in space exploration, especially in the outer reaches of our solar system. Another thing to consider is how this event will be remembered in the history of space exploration. Much like the Shoemaker-Levy 9 collision with Jupiter became a defining moment in our study of gas giants, this Neptune collision could become a landmark event for understanding the outer planets. And if Musk has anything to do with it, this won't be the last time we hear about Neptune. 
He's already talked about how this could lead to missions that go even further into space. And knowing Musk, he won't stop until we're sending humans to explore these distant worlds firsthand. Now, let's not forget the public reaction to all of this. As soon as the news broke, Musk took to social media to share his excitement. His tweets and comments sparked a wave of interest from space enthusiasts and everyday people alike. That's one of the things Musk excels at, getting people excited about space. He has a way of making these complex scientific discoveries feel accessible, like we're all part of the journey. And in a way, we are. Musk has always said that space exploration is a shared human endeavor, and events like this collision are a reminder that we're all in this together learning and exploring as we go. In the end, this massive collision with Neptune is more than just a scientific curiosity. It's a reminder of how little we still know about our own solar system, especially the outer planets. And for Elon Musk, it's a sign that there's still so much more to discover. He's always looking for the next big thing, the next opportunity to push humanity forward. And this event is exactly the kind of thing that gets his gears turning. Whether it leads to new missions, new discoveries, or simply a deeper understanding of Neptune and its moons, Musk will no doubt be at the center of the conversation, guiding us toward a future where space is no longer the final frontier, but just another part of our everyday reality. Part 3. The Future of Space Exploration and Musk's Role in Shaping It So, by now, we've explored how Elon Musk's fascination with space connects to the recent discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope a massive object colliding with Neptune. We've looked at what this discovery could mean for space exploration, the mysteries of Neptune's atmosphere and Musk's plans for the future. But as with everything Musk does, this isn't just about a single event or a moment in time. It's about where this could take us next. The collision with Neptune is exciting, sure, but in Musk's mind, it's just another stepping stone towards something even bigger. And if we know anything about Musk, it's that he doesn't stop at one achievement. He's always pushing forward, thinking about the next frontier, the next opportunity to take space exploration to the next level. With this discovery, we're starting to realize that Neptune and the outer planets are more than just distant cold places in the far reaches of the solar system. They could hold secrets that help us understand not just our own planet, but the very nature of our existence. Musk has said it time and time again. Space exploration isn't just about going to new places. It's about survival. It's about ensuring that humanity can thrive beyond Earth. So when events like this collision happen, Musk sees them as opportunities to gather critical knowledge that could one day help us live on other planets. Now, let's talk about the future. We've already seen how SpaceX revolutionized space travel by making it cheaper, faster, and more efficient. They've successfully launched astronauts to the International Space Station, developed reusable rockets, and created plans for Mars colonization. But that's just the beginning. With this collision, Musk might shift his focus even further out into the solar system. Neptune could become a new target for exploration, not just because of this event, but because of what it represents, a largely unexplored region of space that could offer untold discoveries. One thing that's been clear from Musk's ventures is that he doesn't view space as just an area for scientific exploration. He sees it as a place where business, science, and humanity's future all come together. The collision at Neptune could inspire new technological innovations ones that make it easier and faster to send missions to the farthest reaches of our solar system. Think about it. If we can send a mission to Neptune, equipped with the right tools to study the planet's atmosphere, rings, and moons, we could unlock new possibilities for mining, energy, and even colonization. Musk has already hinted that the outer planets could hold resources that we've never even dreamed of, and Neptune's composition, mostly gas with traces of water, ammonia, and methane, might provide a wealth of scientific and practical opportunities. Imagine what a SpaceX mission to Neptune would look like. We're not talking about a quick flyby here. With Musk's ambition, we're likely looking at a mission that would involve a close study of the planet, its moons, and its surrounding space. The collision itself is only one part of the story. What happens afterward is where things get really interesting. We could learn how Neptune's atmosphere reacts to such a massive impact, whether it changes the planet's weather patterns or triggers new storms. We could even learn more about its rings, which are far less understood than those of Saturn. For Musk, this is the kind of discovery that fuels his imagination. It's not just about what we can learn in the short term, but how these discoveries can lead to long-term missions that push the boundaries of what we know about the solar system. And let's not forget about Triton. As we mentioned earlier, Triton is one of Neptune's most intriguing moons, and it's possible that the collision with Neptune could affect Triton in ways we don't yet understand. Musk has always been fascinated by moons like Triton, Europa, and Enceladus. 
places where there is potential for subsurface oceans or even signs of life. If the collision stirs up activity on Triton, it could be the perfect excuse for SpaceX or NASA to send a mission there to study it more closely. And knowing Musk, he'd want to be at the forefront of that mission, whether it's through SpaceX or a partnership with other space agencies. What's also interesting about all of this is how Musk views space exploration not just as a scientific endeavor, but as a way to secure humanity's future. He's often said that our species needs to become multiplanetary if we want to survive long term. Events like this Neptune collision remind us that space is unpredictable. And the more we learn about these cosmic events, the better prepared we'll be for whatever comes next. Whether it's understanding how planets react to collisions or figuring out how to harness resources from other worlds, Musk sees space exploration as essential to ensuring humanity's survival. And honestly, it's hard to argue with that logic. In fact, this collision could even impact Musk's plans for Mars. How, you ask? Well, if we learn more about how gas giants like Neptune react to impacts, we might be able to apply some of that knowledge to understanding Mars' own atmosphere and weather patterns. While Mars doesn't have the same kind of storms or gas composition as Neptune, there could be parallels that help us better prepare for living on the red planet. Musk has always been about using one discovery to fuel another, and this Neptune event could be just another piece in the puzzle as we figure out how to live and thrive on Mars and beyond. Looking at the bigger picture, this Neptune collision is just the latest in a series of cosmic events that are helping us understand the universe better. But what makes this one special is how it's captured the imagination of someone like Elon Musk. For most of us, space is fascinating, but distant. Something we watch from afar. For Musk, it's a hands-on opportunity to push the limits of human knowledge and ability. And as we move forward, this event could inspire more people to get involved in space exploration, whether that's through investing in companies like SpaceX, studying astrophysics, or simply looking up at the stars and dreaming of what's out there. Musk has often talked about how space exploration is a team effort. It's not just about what SpaceX can do. It's about bringing together the brightest minds from around the world to tackle the challenges that come with exploring the unknown. And with something like this Neptune collision, there's a lot of unknowns. But that's exactly what excites Musk. He thrives on the unknown, on pushing boundaries and taking risks that others might shy away from. That's why he's been so vocal about this discovery. Because it's not just a fascinating event, it's a symbol of how much more there is to discover out there. As we wrap up, it's clear that Elon Musk's connection to this Neptune collision is more than just a passing interest. It's a representation of everything he stands for, innovation, exploration, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. Whether this leads to new missions, new discoveries, or simply a deeper understanding of our solar system, Musk will be at the forefront, guiding the conversation and inspiring the next generation of space explorers. So what's next? Well, if you know anything about Musk, you know that he's already thinking about the next big thing. Maybe it's a mission to study the aftermath of this collision. Maybe it's a new project aimed at understanding Neptune and its moons. Or maybe it's something completely unexpected. Whatever it is, one thing is certain. Musk won't stop until humanity has unlocked the secrets of the universe. And this Neptune event is just the beginning of that journey. In the end, this isn't just about a single cosmic event, it's about the future of space exploration, the role Musk will continue to play in shaping that future, and what we can achieve when we set our sights beyond the horizon. Whether it's Mars, Neptune, or some distant star system we haven't even discovered yet, Musk is pushing us toward a future where space is no longer the final frontier, but the next chapter in human history. And honestly, I think that's something we can all get excited about.